everywhere. It's spreading, but also sort of contained. It was like 30% contained yesterday with 83,000 acres. Yeah. And the latest update is 34% contained and over 94,000 acres. That doesn't sound that very doesn't contained. <laughs> that sounds like it's not contained to uh-huh. me. Um, supposedly, it's backing away from Nevada. They've beaten it down across the border. However, uh, up over 11,000 acres from yesterday, over 400 fighting flames. NV Energy protecting some of the uh, the wooden power poles around that area. Yeah. They're putting mesh around it so it doesn't catch fire, and then the infrastructure goes down. So Crazy, crazy. Kind of a mess. And now, yeah. of course, the, uh, the rain is gone, and the winds are whipping up, and the heat's going to be back super-duper. Can't wait. Yeah. Uh, what do the United States of America have in common with so many of us? It's credit, not so hot, at least not as hot as it used to be. Uh, U.S. credit rating cut from the highest level, triple A to double A plus, Oof. which is like uh, the thing that you put in your kids' uh, you know, toys, but yeah. better. <laughs> uh, Fitch ratings are the ones who release these reports for like every country. Mm-hmm. You're like, hey, what's the credit score? What is the FICO for this country? Uh, they cite rising debt at federal, state, and local levels, as well as, quote, a steady deterioration in standards of governance. You love to see it. Over the last two decades. Wow. So, so yeah, who are your leaders? <laughs> You're doing terrible at this, but, yeah. you know, we're still pretty good. We could get, like, qualified for a really good credit card still. <laughs> yeah. We got a long time before High that interest doesn't. rate, but. Yes, yeah, their the interest rate's not as high, good as it used to be. Yeah. The offers aren't coming in the mail the way they used to. Uh, Wolfgang Puck's Players Locker in downtown Summerlin abruptly shut down on Sunday. The location will turn into a new Lupo's. Uh, if you remember the Lupo's, uh, they have a location there at Mandalay Bay. That's mm-hmm. going to be closing soon, according to Eater. Uh, and that's going to be reopening in downtown Summerlin by the end of the year. Players Locker opened in February 2020. Great timing. Mm, terrible, yeah. Well, I wonder why. It always looks so fun in there. I'd never eaten in there, but it looked pretty cool. It was cool. good. Mm-hmm. It was good. It was like slightly higher end uh, sports bar food. I liked it a lot. And they teamed up with a lot of the Golden Knights players, uh, right. two of whom play in another city, mm-hmm. one of whom is retired. And then uh, Shea Theodore and, uh, and and William Carlson. Yeah. There you go. That's what you got left. And yeah, so it kind of like when you see those images, you're like, you know, maybe maybe that it's not long for this world. It seems like downtown Summerlin is constantly flux in the restaurant area. Which I mean, I'm, I'm the one restaurant that I feel like is going to be there forever is Grape Street. And they had the yeah. one here in town on like Lake Mead, Grape mm-hmm. Street, the original one, which is phenomenal as well. So yeah. I think that's there to stay. And I, I like it and I don't. I'm sure some people have their favorites, but it's cool to get a fresh, fresh food in there every once in a while. Here's what I'll say. Uh, this is total uh, just you know, me being incredibly jealous, but uh, put Players Locker in the Southwest and it would have stayed open forever. Yeah. There's just so many options in that one corner. Right. If you were to spread some of these like Andiron, do you remember Andiron? Mm-hmm. That was Elizabeth Blau's thing. Yep. She's the one who did Honey Salt. If Andiron was in the Southwest, would have been open today. Yeah. Because it's just like, wow. Because that was a really good steakhouse. It's really good. Mm-hmm. So much competition, though. Well, it's I mean. All in one block. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and they and they compete with all the restaurants at Red Rock as well. They have to. Yes. So T-Bones um, is right there. Yeah. yeah. But. Well, whatever the case, uh, uh, expect more. 1027VGS.com have a story there about that. Boaters at Lake Mead have one less access point as Boulder Harbor has been permanently closed as a boat ramp. It is now a walking trail. (laughs) Wow. Shut down in 2021 due to receding waters. The National Park Service decided the ramp was just too far gone. There are a bunch of ramps that are still functioning, though. You can visit 1027VGS.com for those. It's just that the water's going up and down, up and down. And it's starting to like just wear it away and you can only pave into the thing so much or add the rollers so much. So uh, it's fine. There's literally two boat ramps on either side of it. You're going to be okay. Uh, Lee Canyon getting set for a a big upgrade. The ski and snowboard resort getting a new quad chairlift along with a conveyor belt and a much needed 450 extra parking spots. $7 million addition and uh, the cheapest rates of the year if you want to get your annual pass and tomorrow. Hey, traffic. (laughs) Northbound 15 going to be down to two lanes from 215 to Harmon tonight at 9 p.m. through 5 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, and you just kind of expect it to slow down around 15 and drop anyways. So it's not, re- you know, hopefully you won't, won't even notice. Uh, yeah, I feel like the 15 and Flamingo. Oh, God, I think it's south. Yeah, that's always, all oh, uh, oh, that's never flowing. So no. just expect red. It is what it is. The red is in your eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sad. <laughs> No more clouds. Enjoy this morning because uh, 
once it gets hot, it's going to stay there. But I'm okay with it. It's all like a hundred. It's not like the 110s. It's all 102, 104, 105. And I'm totally cool with that. I've got a tie of 100 today and a 76 right now. 